For this video, we're going to go through rectal examination and prostate examination. They are technically two separate examinations, but we will cover them together. Initially, I will do a demo step by step, and then we'll do a run through as if it was an exam scenario. Before you start the examination, you need to ensure you've got consent from the patient. The things that we mentioned in the initial video, you need to make sure you've got some lubricating jelly, some paper towels, and a chaperone as well. So as with any intimate examination, make sure you're preserving the patient's dignity and explain the procedure as you're going along. So expose the patient so that you can see from the waist down. Initially, it's an inspection. So you're looking to see for any changes such as hemorrhoids and so on. You should ask the patient or yourself part gently and you're looking to see again for any changes as well, for example, skin tags. Having done that, you are then going to get the lubricating jelly and put some on your finger. And again, gently part, warn the patient as you're going along and then insert. You're feeling for any changes in the anal canal and you do a 360 degrees rotation slowly and you're feeling for any changes, any masses as you're going along. If you're suspecting spinal pathology, you ask the patient to bear down to look for anal tone. For prostate examination, you're feeling anteriorly and you're trying to feel the sulcus and the lobes either side. You're feeling for any nodules, you're feeling for any asymmetry or any other changes which may indicate things like benign prostatic hyperplasia or malignancy. To end the examination, you'll remove your finger, again, talking through with the patient as you're going along, and you're just going to inspect your finger looking for any blood or any other changes. You then give the patient the paper towel just to wipe, and then the patient will cover themselves to preserve dignity. So now we're going to do a run through as if this was an exam scenario. So for an exam scenario, you may get somebody with urinary changes, so they need a prostate examination. You may get somebody with something like a change in bowel habit requiring a digital rectal examination. Good afternoon, Mr. X. I'm Dr. Tarafta. I'm one of the doctors on the ward. I've been asked to do a rectal examination, and that's because you've been having a change in your bowel habits. Is that right? Okay. Have you had a digital rectal examination before? No, okay. It might feel a bit uncomfortable. Um, can I just check, do you have any pain? No. If you have any problems, any pain during the procedure, do let me know. And I will have a chaperone with me. Is that okay with you? Do you have any questions? Great, okay. What I'll need you to do is to lie on your left side with your knees up towards your tummy. Is that okay? Okay, Mr. X, can I just ask you to undress from the waist down? So initially what I'm just doing this Dex is just inspecting for any changes, okay? I'm just going to gently part again just to look for any changes. Let me know if you have any pain, any problems, any bleeding or anything like that. Okay, so that looks okay to me. So what I'm going to do now is the rectal examination. As you know, it will involve inserting a finger into the rectum, okay? I'm just putting some jelly on my finger. Okay. So I'm just going to part again. If you have any pain, let me know. Okay, so I'm just going inside now. Let me know if you have any pain. I'm just feeling. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. I'll just let you use some tissue just to clean up. Is that okay? Thank you. So on examination, Mr. X, everything felt normal. You'll be pleased to know. I couldn't feel any lumps or bumps and there was no blood or anything um, when I examined. So that's good news. Do you have any questions? That's great. Thank you very much. So if you have any pain or problems, um, just let me know. I'll just go and document everything in the notes. Thank you very much.